This is it. This is what it's all about. Red versus blue. Blood versus water, which is really just lifeless, tasteless, waste of space blood. Destiny awaits. Today, the Cerulean Devil dies. Well, should have seen that coming. Bluff. Good thing the flag is out. K.O. What a battle. Who knew weather was so important? As chaotic as the show we all know. Boo! You stink! But why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? What's up, YouTube? Tenton here, and today we will be discussing the last time on Death Battle between the red and blue teams from Red vs. Blue. This episode was a treat to watch. After doing all the research on these characters, it was a blast to watch them interact, and Sarge's voice actor absolutely stole the show. From the fake news to his reaction to Griff's death, every word that came out of his mouth was gold. Big word for that fake weather report, boys. That's the kind of fake news I like. Caboose's new actor also played him pretty well, and Caboose team killing the majority of his team was very in character and hilarious. The episode really captured that theme of people who suck at fighting, and the animation was the perfect level of comedy and action. Now that being said, I do wish Texas could have had some lines. I also wish the Reds could have gotten some more kills. Excluding Donut killing Sheila, the Reds didn't kill anyone. Griff's voice actor was also very spotty at times near the ending, but the episode as a whole still hit the areas it needed to, and it was far better than the boys' battle royale that we got earlier in the season. Yeah, I overestimated the Reds' teamwork advantage and seriously undersold the Blues' competency and strength advantage. However, I still got a lot right, and even if I'm wrong, as long as the episode is still enjoyable and makes sense, then I'm satisfied. Besides, there's always the next time. Anyway, on a completely unrelated note, I'll talk to you guys later. I mean, there's nothing else to talk about, right? Nothing blatant at all. Pay no attention to the thumbnail and the length of the video. It's just all part of your imagination. Ah, now that my audience is distracted by that SpongeBob clip, I can relax and not talk about that train wreck of an episode. Hello, Ten Ton speaking. Oh, hey, Dark Shark. What's up? Really? An entire marching band? And YouTube sensation Will Smith? Man, what will the porn industry think up next? <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. Your fetishes aside, is there any other reason you called? Oh yeah, the next time. Ah, don't worry about it. I cleverly distracted my audience with a SpongeBob clip. Works every time. What do you mean the cameras are still rolling? What do you mean you put a tracking device in my pants? Uh, okay, fine. I'll talk about the episode. But you better deliver those golden tap dancing shoes by next Tuesday. This season has brought to light a lot of Death Battle's strengths and made it blatantly clear where the show struggles. Marvel and DC have collectively taken up nine episode slots. 45% of the season features one of those two series. The only other franchise that has more than one appearance is Mortal Kombat, and one of those episodes was an anniversary episode, so it hardly counts. Death Battle needs to give these series a break. The team have claimed on Twitter that the next season is going to have episodes that rival season finales all season. So for their sake, I hope it's a 16 episode season. I also pray that Marvel and DC get a cut amount of episodes. Four episodes featuring those two franchises is fine. It's a good balance and gives other series a chance to shine. Death Battle can be so creative when they want to step outside their comfort zone. I mean, look at this season, for example. Leonardo vs. Jason, Goro vs. Machamp, Obi-Wan vs. Kakashi, Danny vs. Jake, Beerus vs. Galaxia, Zuko vs. Shoto, Wally West vs. Archie Sonic, Winter Soldier vs. Red Hood, and John vs. Saberwolf. All of these episodes are great, and they have that death battle charm I love. And notice how only two of them are Marvel slash DC related. This season has also used an extensive amount of Batman and Spider-Man characters. 
Miles Morales, Red Hood, Venom, and now these two. One fifth of the season is centered around these characters from their respective series. The matchup itself isn't the worst idea ever, but it is undeniably uninspired and lazy. Batgirl has way better matchups, like Kim Possible, for example. That fight would certainly be far less one-sided, and the two have far more in common. Batgirl vs. Spider-Gwen is just Batman vs. Spider-Man again, but gender-swapped. If Spider-Gwen scales to Peter in the slightest, she wins. Stats-wise, a Spider-Man character can be in the range of 100 to 200 tons, based off the previous characters Death Battle has analyzed. Spider-Man characters also have light speed scaling, or at the worst, they still scale to characters that can move faster than the eye can track. Sure, Batman characters have dealt with far worse, but a speed advantage is still a speed advantage. Gwen also has a spider sense, so stealth is out the window. Quite literally, if last time is anything to go off of. Her web shooting also gives her a way to restrain Batgirl and gives her the mobility advantage. Batgirl's only real advantages include her superior training, her likely better arsenal, and the fact that she is so damn hot. When compared directly, it's no contest. Gwen is likely stronger, faster, more durable, and her spider sense gives her a level of unpredictability that Batgirl can't predict or match. Batgirl is likely more intelligent, but that doesn't really change anything. This episode overall is a stomp in Marvel's favor, and is really a waste of a slot. Now, I know I love throwing shade at Wonder Woman vs. She-Ra, but at the very least, that episode wasn't Marvel vs. DC, and She-Ra at least had a 1% chance to win. I'm reluctantly rooting for Spider-Gwen, and that is the end of my prediction. I would normally need to do a ton of research and give each character a section to discuss their powers with you guys, but this episode is so obvious that it would just be a waste of my time. I hope my little skits have helped make up for it. I really appreciate all the recent support the videos have been getting, and I'm super proud to have a community like you guys. And while the next time might be a disappointment, I hope my video, at the very least, has kept you entertained. Now, let's hope the next time is an episode that I can make an extra long video about. Let's also hope that it's not DC or Marvel related. Anyway, this has been Ten Ton. Peace.